out there that doesn't feel like it's drowning right now. The number of pets being surrendered or simply abandoned is off the charts, they say, and it's breaking hearts. It happened just this week when Sophia, a 14-year-old golden retriever, was dropped off at a rescue in Pennellville, Oswego County. Of all the abandonments over all the years, the woman who runs this rescue says this one broke her. By the time her former owner got to the Friends Forever Animal Rescue, she said it was her last stop. She'd already been driving around to other shelters, looking to unload the 14-year-old Golden she'd had its entire life. The woman blamed a pending move for the inability to care for Sophia any longer. To see Sophia's reaction as... I'm sorry. To see her reaction as the car drove away, wondering, where are you going? That, I think, was the hardest part. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. I don't usually get emotional. But we see it so often. And it's so sad because these dogs and these animals, they don't do anything wrong, but they still are left with the, the, the feeling that, you know, they've done something to deserve being deserted. And that's not okay. Casey Newton runs the rescue. In 26 years of doing this work, she says the most remarkable thing about the surrender of Sophia was the lack of emotion displayed by the person dropping the dog off. 26, 26 years, years of doing this. This has been my what, life. What I'm hearing from you is this one broke you. This one did it. This one and 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 this one and so many. Um, but but mm. her her looking, you know, I took that picture yesterday when I was driving home with her in the back seat of my truck and that face, this sadness. And I thought, how am I going to explain to this dog that she's okay? How am I going to make her feel that she's okay? That, you know, from this day forward, no matter how many years are left, she's 14, but no matter how many years left, she's going to be okay. And no one's ever going to make her feel as though she doesn't matter again. The rescue says Sophia shows signs of neglect. Her skin is bad, she has fleas, and her nails were so long they were curled. Her worn out rescuers are now committed to giving her a happy rest of her life. What is the answer here? Is it more foster families? Because this keeps happening. So, what is yeah. it as an advocate and a rescue that, that you and all of the other people who do what you do need the most right now? This is the question of the of the century. What do we need? A lot of rescues and shelters will say we need a bigger shelter. That bigger shelter, we could build 10 of them, Michael, and they're all gonna be filled in a month. There's that many unwanted animals. That's not what we need. What we need is people to be responsible pet owners. And we'll keep waiting on that. The Friends Forever Animal Rescue simply does not believe that it is possible to adopt its way out of the crisis that it and so many other shelters face. It's estimated by the ASPCA that Sophia is one of 6.3 million pets surrendered to shelters in this country this year. You can learn more about the rescue that's now fostering Sophia at friendsforeverny.com.